Hello, Roebuck Church family. It's so good to be able to speak with you this afternoon and to, to share some exciting news. Back on March the 15th, uh, eight weeks ago, we had our last worship service in the sanctuary gathered together. And we're going to have our next gathering in the sanctuary a week from this Sunday on May the 24th. And we're really excited about this. What a blessing to be able to come together. Uh, things have begun to open up and we've, we're trying to be wise and safe. But at the same time, we're so excited about this opportunity. Now, in order for us to do this safely, there's some guidelines that we're going to have to follow. So I'm going to share those with you now and uh, you'll hear more about them in the days ahead. First of all, we're going to have two worship services on Sunday morning, May the 24th, one at 9 and one at 11. The services will be identical. They're only going to last about 45 minutes each. But that'll give you an option to choose either one that you want to attend, you plan to come. The seating capacity will be limited because of self social distancing. We'll only be able to have about 100 people in each service. We believe we'll be able to accommodate everyone who wants to come, and as uh, things change, we will make the changes that we need to make. So, to park for these services, we're asking everyone to park simply in the front two parking lots because the only doors that are going to be open to the church are the front doors of the sanctuary and the front doors of the chapel for the deaf service. So park in one of those two places. Also, if you would like to wear a mask or gloves, you're welcome to do that, but we are not requiring that you do that, and we believe that by spacing the way we are in the sanctuary, everyone will be safely distanced so that that won't be absolutely necessary. But if it makes you comfortable, please wear a mask. Our restrooms are going to be monitored. Only two people at a time will be allowed to go into any of the restrooms for safety purposes, and also our water fountains will be turned off and marked. So we won't have drinking water available uh, through the water fountains. We also are not going to be receiving the offering like we usually do. We're not going to pass an offering plate from hand to hand. Instead, there are going to be boxes strategically placed for you to place your offerings uh, as you come or as you leave. And this, again, will enable us to uh, prevent hand-to-hand -hand contact with different things. Another thing we're not going to do is we're not going to print bulletins. Just making it as simple as possible and as safe as possible, we won't have any printed bulletins. At the end of each service, our ushers are going to help us to exit the building in a safe and strategic way so that there won't be any problems with social distancing. And once you get outside in a safe way, you can, can have fellowship with friends, that kind of thing. But we're not going to do that inside the building. Between the two services, the, the sanctuary will be cleaned, the pews will be cleaned, so that the, those who come to the 11 o'clock service can be assured that the, that the seats that they're taking are going to be safe, and uh, we want to make sure that that's the case. Unfortunately, we won't be able to offer child care or children's worship at this point, and we won't be having Sunday school classes yet. These things will have to be held off until a later date, but we look forward to the day when these things can happen. And then finally, we're going to say this, small groups may meet in our buildings at any time except for Sunday morning. So if your discipleship group or your Sunday school class would like to meet, we want to accommodate you if we can, but we're going to insist that you schedule these meetings through the church office so that we'll make sure everything is safe and clean for any group that needs to come. Well, we recognize this is not a perfect scenario, but we're so excited that we can do the things that we're going to be doing beginning May the 24th so we can come back together and worship the Lord as a congregation, as God's people assemble together. Now, I want to say this, and it's very important. Some of you may not feel comfortable coming back yet, and we fully understand that. And if for any reason you don't feel comfortable coming back to public worship, please continue to worship at home. If you have Internet access, uh, our, sir, our 11 o'clock service will continue to be live streamed and you can see it on Facebook Live or on YouTube or on the website, the church website, roebuckbaptist.org. We're just so excited about this opportunity and just pray that God will continue to lead us to a relationship with Him, a deeper relationship with Him, a deeper fellowship with one another as we get to worship together, hear God's Word proclaimed, and fellowship as the body of Christ at Roebuck Baptist Church. We're looking so forward to this. Thank you for your patience and your flexibility, and we look forward to seeing you on May the 24th. God bless you.